Welcome to the Knox video training series. In this video, we'll show you how to configure and synchronize users and groups from Active Directory or AD in the Knox Manage console. Let's get started. Before configuring AD Sync, you'll need Samsung Cloud Connector installed and configured on your AD server. For instructions on installing Samsung Cloud Connector, check out our Getting Started with Samsung Cloud Connector for Knox Manage video. First, let's create and configure a new AD Sync service. In the Knox Manage Admin Console, in the left navigation, click on Advanced. Then click on AD LDAP Sync and select Sync Service. To add a new service, click the Add button. Enter the service name. In this example, we'll call it New SCC. Then enter your directory type and server host information. Finally, enter your AD admin's credentials. Then click the Verify Connection button to check if you can connect to your AD server. If your configuration is correct, you should see a success message. If your connection failed, double check your SCC app installation and console settings. Now let's move on to user configuration. On the Add Sync Service page, select the User tab, then click Select next to Base DN. Select the name of the container with users that you want to sync, then click OK. Now let's configure groups. Next to Target, check the Group option. Click Select next to Base DN. Then select the name of the container from which you want to synchronize groups. Click OK to confirm. Next, on the Group tab, make sure the Sync Group Member setting is set to Yes to allow for automatic download. Then check all of the Auto Profile App Apply settings so that they're automatically applied when changed. You've now configured a new AD Sync service and can move on to syncing users and groups. In the lower right of the screen, click Save and Sync, then click OK. To sync AD users, in the left navigation, click User, then click Add via AD LDAP. In the new window, select the Multiple User Sync option to sync multiple users at once, then click OK. From the list of services, select your earlier configured service. Then click on the magnifying glass icon to search for users. From the list of users, select the users you want to sync. Then click OK to start the sync. Please note that the synchronization process may take some time. To check that the user sync was successful, in the user menu, refresh the list. Your newly synced users should appear in this list. Now let's sync an AD group. On the left navigation, click Group then click the Add via AD LDAP button. Select the AD service from the drop-down, then click the Search button. You should see a list of all previously configured groups appear. Select the group you want, then click OK. On the Add AD LDAP group screen for the Sync Group Member option, you can either sync all group users or sync selected users. In this example, we'll sync selected users only. In the Select Group Member list, choose the group users you want, then click OK. You've now filled out the group settings. Click Save. You can now configure applications, set policies, or manage content for the group's users. To verify that your group sync was successful, on the left navigation, select Group. Your group should appear in the list with the type set to AD LDAP and it should show the right number of users. Next, click on your group. In the user list, you should see all assigned users in the group. If you don't see users in the group, make sure that your base DN in your AD Sync configuration is properly set. Keep in mind that depending on your AD configuration, your base DN may be different for users and groups. This concludes the demo of how to synchronize users and groups with Active Directory in Knox Manage. For more information on Knox Manage, visit www.samsungnox.com. Thanks for watching.